So let's look inside the OSI reference model. It's basically seven distinct protocol layers. Now, in most modern implementations, you don't see a definite division between all seven different layers. In many implementations, several of the layers are blended together, and you'll get dual functionality at several layers. But from the original reference model, we're going to discuss and be aware of all seven layers. Make sure that you know what each layer does and where it sits. First, we have the application layer. Now, remember that the purpose of this reference model is to define the communication rules. So when we look at the application layer, this is not your application software. Your application software actually sits on top of the network stack. What he really does is, let's assume that you have an application program, something like a web browser. Your web browser that wants to send a message to something on another machine, what he would do is he would call a function. The function would be an application layer protocol function call. So effectively, what he's doing is your application code would be calling the application layer networking protocol in order to create a message. Underneath the application layer, we have the presentation layer. Now, we're going to look at each one of these layers in depth. This is just an overview of what the protocol stack looks like. Next, we have the session layer. We have the transport layer. Underneath that, we have the network layer. Two more. The data link layer. And last but not least, we have the physical layer. Now, the physical layer is typically on the bottom of the protocol stack. So we look at the physical layer as actually being the part that's connected to the wires. Now, we're assuming a wired network. Obviously, we can have wireless networking and other types of connections, but we'll just refer to it as a wire at this point. Everything above the physical layer is software. Now, each layer in the software stack can only talk to the layer above and the layer below. So on our source machine, Every layer is simply taking a message, doing something with it, and passing it down one layer. So it goes down the stack, across, and on the other machine, we reverse the process, and we end up presenting a message up from our application layer into the resulting application on the other side. This standard allows developers to write software that will work on many dissimilar machines. We don't care what the target machine is. All we care is that the target machine supports our standard.